We start by defining the units of time, which we know as seconds. In order to define a second with great accuracy, we need a source that can time with high accuracy and reproducibility. The units of second was defined using the cesium-133 atom, which has 55 protons and 78 neutrons. Atoms in general have electrons that occupy distinct energy levels, which are quantized as required by the laws of quantum mechanics. Cesium-133 has some very similar lower energy levels, which we call ground state hyperfine levels. When an electron moves between two of these states, it emits a specific type of microwave radiation. The radiation oscillates at a specific frequency, meaning it produces a certain number of cycles per unit of time. We define one second as the time it takes for this radiation to make exactly 9,192,631,770 cycles. Why is the cesium-133 atom and its energy levels so important for defining a second? Why not pick some other apparatus, like a swinging pendulum? The cesium-133 transition energy radiation has a very high frequency of oscillation, which makes it very granular. As a comparison, quartz crystals oscillate at frequencies from thousands to millions of megahertz, and early versions were created that would only lose one second of timekeeping for every three years or so. In contrast, a cesium atomic clock would lose about a second of timekeeping every 150 million years or more. In fact, modern experiments using strontium atoms have properties such that an atomic clock would only lose one second of time every 5 billion years or so.